Hello everyone. Myself Ravi Shankar Pegada, Senior Technical Marketing Engineer, part of Software Firewall Product Management Team. In this session, I will be walking you through VM series integration with Azure Gateway Load Balancer. Here is the agenda for the session. To start with, I'll be talking on how we are going to secure Azure network traffic using Palo Alto Networks VM series integrated with Azure Gateway Load Balancer. And I will discuss about traffic flow through VM series firewall acting as backend pool to Gateway Load Balancer, followed by live demonstration. Gateway Load Balancer is available as a separate SKU as part of Azure Load Balancer portfolio. With this integration, we will be able to transparently integrate VM series into the network path without disturbing customers existing networking infrastructure. Gateway Load Balancer provides the bump in the white technology to ensure all traffic to the public endpoint is first sent to the VM series before it is sent to an application. Gateway Load Balancer maintains flow stickiness and flow symmetry with specific VM series firewall instance running as backend pool. This integration will help avoid natting of traffic in the transit to provide complete visibility of sources identity to application and VM series firewall. Typically, application will be accessed using load balancer's front-end IP address. To secure this application access, Gateway Load Balancer will help integrate VM series firewall into the network path with its bump in the white technology without making any changes to customer's network infrastructure. Here is the deployment where we can see that the VM series firewall is acting as a backend pool to the gateway load balancer. Gateway load balancer is service chained with the public load balancer's front end IP address and gateway load balancer uses VXLAN to send traffic towards the VM series firewall. Let us see how the inbound traffic flow would look like when a public internet user tries to access an application sitting behind a public load balancer. The load balancer will send the traffic towards the gateway load balancer because of the service chaining and this unprotected traffic once it is received at the gateway load balancer is sent to the VM series firewall and after inspection VM series firewall will send it back towards the gateway load balancer through the other VXLAN tunnel that is being established. Gateway load balancer will send the protected traffic back to the public load balancer which in turn will send that particular traffic towards the actual application sitting behind public load balancer. And outbound traffic flow as can be seen over here when an outbound connection is being initiated by the application that particular traffic is sent to the public load balancer. The public load balancer will be sending the traffic, unprotected traffic towards the gateway load balancer because of the service chaining, which will be sent towards the VM series. After inspection, the VM series firewall will send back to the gateway load balancer. And this protected traffic from the gateway load balancer is sent to the uh, public load balancer from where the traffic will go to the actual destination, which is sitting on the internet. That's uh, with respect to outbound traffic flow. Now let's look into live demonstration on how we are going to integrate VM series firewall as a backend pool towards the gateway load balancer. So this is the demo topology that I'll be using. On the VM series firewall, we'll be having two VLAN or the sub interfaces which will be establishing VXLAN tunnel towards the gateway load balancer which will be used to encapsulate the traffic so that the source's identity is being protected. In order to deploy VM series firewall as a backend pool towards the gateway load balancer, we have Azure ARM templates that are being published as part of this GitHub repository that we are seeing over here. Within this GitHub repository, we can see that we have application stack, bootstrap, and security stack. First thing that we need to do is we need to download this bootstrap folder and we'll be using this bootstrap config as part of the init configuration that will be uploaded into the storage account which I'll show in a while and this security stack will be used to deploy gateway load balancer and VM series firewall will be deployed as a backend pool to this particular gateway load balancer that is being deployed. So uh, first thing that we need to do is to download this bootstrap file and for this particular demonstration I have already downloaded the init configuration and it is being placed within my storage account that is created over here. So if you go to my storage accounts, I have a storage account for this gateway load balancer demonstration. 
within this storage account i have this file share created and this file share has the bootstrap file that is being downloaded and it is being uh, placed within this config uh, folder that is created as part of this file share itself so after placing this uh, bootstrap and init config file within this storage account uh, that that we have downloaded already from this uh, github repository we are good with the bootstrap and the init configuration once after placing the init configuration we can now go ahead and deploy the security stack if we come down over here we have deploy security stack resources over here we can directly go ahead and deploy this security stack which will be deploying gateway load balancer and vm series firewall with uh, the bootstrap configuration that we have placed in the storage account it will be asking for some of the basic input parameters we need to create the resource group here we need to specify the storage account in which we have placed the bootstrap and the init configuration file that is if we go here this is the storage account provide this storage account name over here and its associated access key we'll be able to get that access key by going over here if we go here for this particular storage account we can just click on show and we'll be able to copy that paste the storage account access key and this file share is the one that we have created over here if you go here the file share whatever we have created this is the file share in which we have placed the bootstrap init configuration and the bootstrap configuration this file share we need to copy paste over here provide this file share information or the name of the file share over here as part of the security stack deployment and we can leave the remaining stuff to default values so go ahead and review and create the configuration after successful validation we can click on create to create this particular security stack so the deployment is in progress now and uh, this particular deployment will take around like five to six minutes for the gateway load balancer and vm series and its associated components to get uh, configured and deployed within the uh, azure resource group security stack deployment is complete now let us go to the resource group and see what are all the resources that are being created so within this resource group we can see that there are multiple resources that are created including the uh, firewall public ip address the vm series firewall and the gateway load balancer at all so now let us see the vm series firewall to check if it is being configured with appropriate uh, bootstrap configuration that we wanted to configure and also here is the load balancer this is the security load balancer if you can see over here and this particular load balancer is of type gateway you can see this queue this is the new queue that is being introduced for the gateway load balancer and this is of type gateway load gateway which means the security stack has deployed the gateway load balancer this this particular gateway load balancer is having the backend pool configured with the vm series firewall this is the name of the vm series that we have created and this backend pool will be utilizing vxlan protocol the communication or the traffic from the gateway load balancer towards its backend pool which is the vm series firewall is being sent through the vxlan tunnel from gateway load balancer towards vm series firewall now let's log into the vm series firewall to check if uh, it is being configured with appropriate bootstrap configuration which is the sub interfaces that we wanted to configure so uh, within the vm series firewall now let's go and check if it is being configured with sub interfaces here these are the two interfaces that will be used for internal and external vxlan tunnel that is created towards the gateway load balancer and we have a firewall policy that is configured as part of the bootstrap configuration to allow all the traffic for this particular demonstration to test the traffic now let's go ahead and deploy the application stack which will be deploying an application behind a load balancer provide the required uh, parameters over here so here uh, important thing is like we need to provide the security resource group which is the resource group in which we have deployed the security stack so that we'll be able to get by going over here this is the re resource group in which we have got our security stack deployed we need to copy this and paste over here and we can leave the remaining uh, parameters as it is and just provide the password for the 
application that is being deployed. We can go ahead and create this application stack which will be deploying application behind a public load balancer. So now we are done with the application stack deployment. Let's go to the resource group to check what all the resource resources that are being created. So here it has created the application VM which is a Linux machine and a public load balancer as well. So let's go to the load balancer and see what is being created over there. Here within this public load balancer, if we go to this front end IP address, we can see that this particular load balancer is being service chained with the gateway load balancer. With this service chaining, any traffic coming onto this public load balancer will be redirected towards the gateway load balancer. And also this public load balancer uh, rule, load balancing rule says that any traffic coming on port 8081, it will be sent to its backend pool, which is the Linux machine. In this case, the web application, it will be sent using the destination port 8080. So now let's try to access the application by using front end IP address associated with port 8081 and see how we are going to access the application. So the same information is being mentioned over here within this GitHub repository as well. We'll be able to double get if you are accessing from any of your Linux machine. Let's try to access the application using the front end IP address of the public load balancer with its associated port number. We can see that we are able to access the application. Now let's go and see this particular traffic is being reported in VM series firewall. Here we can see that the traffic is being initiated from this particular laptop that is my IP address which is 134.238.18.87 we can see that 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 is the source IP address from which it is initiated and the destination IP address is the front end IP address of the public load balancer with this we can make sure that any inbound traffic coming onto public load balancer is redirected towards gateway load balancer which in turn has sent to the VM series firewall for traffic inspection. We can also access the application using wget uh, using the front end IP address and its associated port number. Thank you.